Hi everyone, happy Thursday. So I'm here to do more movement for our ascension body. And today we're gonna to do another breathing exercise and then a shoulder stretch. So the breathing exercise is uh, what I call breath of fire. There might be some other names for it, but it's to awaken the solar plexus because the solar plexus is where the stomach organ resides. And in order to kind of kickstart digestion, maybe detox the body a little bit, or just help fuel you if you've been unmotivated, the breath of fire is a way to bring heat into the belly. Um, it's really gonna take place from the bottom of the ribs down through the belly button, and the, the belly is gonna move really quick like this, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Your breath can either be going out through the nose, or in and out through the nose, or in and out through the mouth. I'm gonna demonstrate it through the mouth today, just because it's a little bit easier to hear on a video but you can close your mouth and actually do it in and out of the nose as well. All right, so it's a real fast process. Um, again, it's to heat the body up. So you wanna sit up nice and tall. I'm just on my couch because I'm still in a rental, rental property and it's easier for me to shoot the video up here than on the floor. So sitting down, uh, having your shoulders over your hips, try to relax your shoulders back and down. I like to put my hands on my belly because it reminds me that I'm focusing right there in that spot. So we're gonna take a deep breath in. And then it looks like this. So hopefully you can see how my belly is going do, 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 do as the breath is coming out of your mouth. So we'll do about 30 seconds together. Um, Again, you can do it just through the nose, but I do warn you, if your nose is stopped up or running, it's probably not gonna go so well. Okay, here we go. Take a deep breath in. Okay, that was a nice slow rhythmic pace, right? You can do it even faster if you really wanna put some fire down there. So, um, and you can even hold your hands like in a mudra where you're actually bringing uh, fingertips together. Uh, if you're not familiar with mudras, they're just using hand signs um, to stimulate specific meridian points through the body. Uh, chi mudra is the real common one where the fingertips, uh, uh, index finger and thumbs meet and um, you can just kind of put them down on the knees all right we're going to do it a little faster this time take a deep breath in okay so how long do you do it might be a question that you ask. Uh, when I was taught, we did it for about a minute and we would break it up into two sections. We would do a slow one and then we would do a fast one. Again, I think you should just take it based off of what works best for you. Um, if you're having any heart palpitations or if your blood pressure is high that day, I don't suggest doing it. If you're pregnant, I also might maybe say to be cautious or check with your doctor before you do that one. Um, okay. So breath of fire. Okay, now we're gonna get into a shoulder stretch. So the shoulder stretch is linked to a pose uh, in yoga called cow's face, but we're just gonna do the top part of the body instead of the low part of the body. Um, our shoulders have an internal rotation like this and an external rotation like this. And it's real common for people that sit down a lot of the time or for their day or for their job, um, then they're gonna become internally rotated. Okay, you're gonna be externally rotated if you're constantly looking up or working with something over your shoulders, okay? So it's beneficial in order to have symmetry in the body to do both, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to work the shoulders in order to stretch the shoulders, stretch through the collarbones in order to help you whether you are internally rotated or externally rotated. Um, in this position, you're going to have one hand come up behind you like this and the other hand behind your back, okay? Now, when you, when you are in this pose, it is important, again, to sit up nice and tall, have the shoulders over the hips. I would say pull your belly button in towards your spine so that you can actively engage the muscles of your low back, okay? 
try to lift right here through the sternum up towards the ceiling. You wanna pull the right elbow back or whatever elbow is up. <laughs> it might be switched in the camera. Pull that up and back. And then your other arm, you wanna pull the shoulder back, okay? And then you can just keep your chin neutral, the neck in line with the spine, and definitely breathe, don't hold your breath. Now, wherever you are in this pose is where you are. Some people can bring their hands back here to touch, okay? My shoulders don't let me do that. I've had so many injuries working in the airline industry <laughs> that um, my shoulders won't do that anymore but I still go to whatever degree that my bones will let me go in this position. And you're resting your back hand on your, just on your back. Let's see if you can see it back there. It's just resting on the back and this hand is back here. Now, when you switch it, okay, and you let your arms come down, give them a little shake out you know, <laughs> and then you'll do the other side. Now it's real common when you do the other side, oh, this is my hard side, um, that it's not gonna be the same. We're not always symmetrical from one side to the other. And I do emphasize to you guys, don't push yourself on the side that's strong and flexible. Push yourself a little bit more on the weaker side because then that that helps work that side a little bit more until you can create the symmetry in your body. And again, one hand is just kind of resting. You'll see how my hands are nowhere near where they were on the other side. <laughs> and then we're pushing that elbow up and we're pulling the other shoulder back and just breathe. And then again, when you let go, oh man, yeah, just kind of give yourself a little wiggle out. So, yeah, that is called cow face in yoga, the upper body part of it anyway. And, um, yeah, it's a good way to just really open up right here through the sternum, through the collarbones, and right across the front of the shoulders. If you have any injuries, then... Um, you could even modify instead of having the one that comes around the back if that's too painful. You can just bring both arms up like this and just pull the elbow points back. That would be another alternative or bring both of them behind your back and pull the shoulders back, okay? Instead of doing uh, the opposite sides together. Okay, I know how, you know, the shoulders, man. If you don't work them, you're gonna lose it. So keep it, keep it up. Um, all right. Hope you guys have a great Thursday. Talk to you later. Bye.